Our guys are here. David Nixon, former Cougar, Stevenson Sylvester, former Ute, here to break this one down for yeah, us. Yeah, made a big change at quarterback, and it seemed to provide a spark. Yes, yes, Kalani Sataki did a quarterback change, put in the true freshman, Zach Wilson. But that defense showed some spark uh, yesterday afternoon as well. Yeah, this was something the BYU defense has really struggled with, was getting pressure. In this play, we see Kyra Stoneman coming up with a huge sack, one of four on the night. But you look at the front, finally Tuyaki dials up some creative blitzes. You're going to see some stunts. You're going to see Kyra Stoneman go first. We call that a toe blitz. Peely comes around and Tonga does a great job of bringing down the quarterback Cole McDonald. They're showing an odd man front three and once again some craveness. You got Corbin Kafusi kind of stacked off the ball. Rushes. Just mass confusion for Hawaii and BYU with four sacks. A huge bright sign for this BYU defense. They needed that. As you said they brought pressure. Here they got another crazy blitz dialed up that's, that's really special. I tell you what this is a BYU defense that had their will tested last week. They gave up 223 yards in Utah State. They rebound against Hawaii, only give up 63 yards. And a lot of it is because of this confusion. BYU, once again, showing a three-man front, but instead they're going to end up bringing six. They do a great job of disguising it. And what ends up happening, a good tackle for loss. Right here, Bracken O'Bakery comes in untouched. Corbin Kafusi comes in as well. And what I like about this play, watch Corbin Kafusi. He comes in, and he's going to get skinny. Watch the tackle right here, nose tackle as well. He occupies two blocks, allows Bracken O'Bakery to come loose. And once again, Corbin Kafusi getting skinny. Young kids at home, if you're watching, when you're blitzing, you don't want to come in straight ahead where you got two shoulders exposed. You want to minimize your surface area. Corbin does a great job forcing back into Bracken for a big tackle for loss. Right. But the main story from yesterday is Zach Wilson. He did an amazing job coming in yesterday. Listen, it was fun to watch Zach. This is a true freshman making his first start. And what I like about this play in particular is Zach's ability to extend the play, right? I mean, this is a kid that has great legs. He's multidimensional. But right here, watch him. He breaks the pocket. Look at his eyes. He's looking downfield for Dallin Hooker. He's going to let Dallin pass the ref. And he's going to drop the ball off. But he rushed for a touchdown, which we're going to see here earlier in the game, right here. But that one, he keeps his eyes down the field. And this is what Cougar fans are excited. People are calling him Taysom 2.0. I don't know if we quite <laughs> go that far yet. But you look at this play. This is a design quarterback draw. It's a third and 15. He does a great job of coming up. Good blocking down the field by Impey. But watch this right here. Boom, you got to make one guy miss. Open you space. Safety, open field. And you got a young guy like him that's able to put a move on him, get in the end zone. This is big time. This is what BYU fans want to see. And once again, a lot of it's coming from Hawaii misses Simon error. He follows the running back, Kato out of the backfield, and, and, and Zach Wilson goes in for a touchdown. So a lot of bright spots. This isn't a fantastic Hawaii team, so it's a good team for Zach to kind of get broken in and, and start doing his thing. But there's some bright spots as well. The defense played well, offense played well, special teams. It was, it was a good all-around effort. Yeah, local kid making a shine. I wish Kafusi would teach me how to get skinny that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you, Rod. There's no help there, man. Okay.